Hey guys, recently I saw the Cure Uger vs. Go Busters movie, and they actually used the Bandai America Morpher as the Jew Ranger prop morpher. So the minute I saw that, I, I knew I needed some repro labels. The text is actually raised there. You can kind of see how it's 3D. That's fancy. That's nice. Jew Ranger Rangers! Oh, they really did a great job on these. That looks fantastic. And then they give you the different options. Here's the Japanese version, which is now here. They give you the show version. Here's like if you bought the 93 American Morpher. They all have that nice raised lettering. They give you stickers for these, but like in different finishes. Like these are glossy. So then for the holster, they have more stickers. You can do as many or as few as you want. I think this could use a sticker. How about you guys? There. If you think this needs a sticker, so that certainly adds a little bit to the holster. How nice does that look? I love that. If you order a set, you'll get this, and part two, and part three. This, this is all included. This goes on here, for the back. Makes it look even shinier. It's kind of cool, it's transparent. That goes here. Oh, I do like that. So that gives the back a bit more detail. I really like that. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Look at that. That looks great. So you can see the difference. I really love that the text is raised. That is just so cool. And then if you want to replace these, you can. These kind of have a slightly nicer texture than the ones the Morpher actually comes with. You know, it's up to you. You can do as much customizing or as little as you want to. And of course, you can mix and match. If you have another Morpher, you can customize it with different stickers. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but this is like a really nice metallic red. You kind of have to see it in person. I certainly recommend this. I think this just looks fantastic. I'll put a direct link in the description. They have sticker sheets for all sorts of different things. And then I also wanted to replace the stickers on this Red Dragon Thunder Sword that I got on eBay recently. This was one of my all-time favorites as a kid. I love the dragon. It was his dragon form that really got me into the show as a kid. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. But, on TV, he had all this nice green all over him and he didn't have these stupid power bolts that drove me crazy. But now you can make him look the way he's supposed to look. That's very exciting. But even if you're somebody who doesn't care as much as I do about the green and, and the power bolts and all that, maybe you just want a Red Dragon Thunder Sword for your collection and you find one for a decent price on eBay but it's missing stickers or the ones that it has are just kind of peeling off like that. Right? What are you going to do? Either you get a brand new one, or one that has stickers in good shape, or you just don't have one that looks very nice. But after I decide what I'm going to do with him, I'll show you how I clean him up, do the stickers, and how much nicer he looks. I'll do it before and after. Uh, the reason I'm not doing it now is I'm trying to decide. I'm kind of torn. Usually I like things really shiny, especially toys. But sometimes they kind of look better a little dirty. Like I, I just did this to the Gokai Galleon. I'm still kind of working on it. But you can see how much detail is brought out when you do like a, a black wash a little bit. It needed some paint. I'll still have a Megazord that I don't mess up with paint, but I really wanted to do this to one of them at least. So this is what my Megazord looks like at the moment. For the dragon, he's supposed to have black all over his legs. I'm trying to decide now if I want to try to paint him at all, or if I should just do the stickers. What do you guys think? Should I try to give him a little more black? It's such a cool thing, right? Unfortunately, the one I got doesn't have the, uh, the chest plate or the tail piece. That's going to be a pain to find, but oh well. That doesn't matter too much. I can still show you most of these. So very big thanks to Repro Labels. They can really save a kind of messed up eBay purchase or even brand new stuff. I think they've done the Legacy Megazord, Regular Megazord, Dragon Sword, Titanus, the Thunder Zords, that includes Tiger Sword and Tor. We've got the Ninja Megazord, Shogun Megazord, We've got other Morpher and Weapon stuff. It's definitely worth checking them out. I don't really collect Transformer stuff, but I know they also have a lot of other sets that aren't Power Rangers, so some of you guys might be interested in those as well. So I'll put links in the description. At Power Morphicon 2, I bought a Japanese Shogun Megazord, which the Zords themselves were in perfect condition, but the stickers were either missing or torn, which kind of sucks. 
If there's no way to get stickers, sometimes you might want to pass on something like that and say, it's a good deal, but it's gonna look messed up. I'd rather either wait or pay a little more for another one that either has a full sticker sheet or stickers that are in good condition. But now you can kind of go through used stuff at conventions or on eBay and say, it's okay, I can clean this up at home and apply new stickers and it'll be like new. If you have a Shogun Megazord at home that has those annoying power bolts on the shoulders, now you can fix that. I'm really so happy with that. It really, really looks fantastic. The red is like that really nice shiny metallic. The stickers are raised. It gives you lots of different options. The back even looks better. The holster is a little less plain. It's just a really awesome thing. And I can't get over that they used the Bandai America toy in a Super Sentai movie. That's just so, so freaking cool. So I'm sure the kids in Japan probably want one of our toys now. I know this has gotten very hard to find recently, but you can still find the Gold Morpher for Tommy. And the stickers will still work on that one as well. All right, it is certainly my bedtime, so thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe. Reprolabels.com, links in the description. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you guys for watching, and good night.